Kershaw County, this is Megan with Planning and Zoning. In a previous video, we learned step one, which was how to create an account. In this video, we're going to learn step two, which is submitting your application. First, you're going to click Apply for Permit. Then you'll need to log into your account. For this demo, we're going to be applying for a residential building permit for a house. When you get to this screen, you're going to see category and type. For your category, you're going to select residential building. And for your type, you're going to select single family residence and then hit next. Now it's going to ask you for the address. There are three boxes that you can input an address into. The first two are for the house number and street name. If it does not accept it there, go to the third one and enter the address there. And then hit next. Now it's time to enter your permit details. For description, you'll put what you're doing. Your use type will be residential. Now I'm going to ask for your square footages for the house. If you do not have any unfinished areas or garage, you would simply just put a zero. And again, anything yellow is required. For contract price, you can put what it's costing you to build the house. For electric service, you would choose whether you have an existing service or a new service. And then electric utility, who your power company is. If you will have any sort of gas at the house, you need to let us know if it's going to be natural gas or propane. Once you have input all of this information, you'll hit next. And then you're going to select your contact. If you're a builder, you would do residential builder or general contractor. If you're the owner, you select owner. Next, it's going to ask you to upload any documents that you have. These documents will vary depending on the type of permit that you are applying for. You'll just hit choose file and then select your document and then hit upload. Next, it's going to give you a statement on permit conditions if you'll read this statement carefully before agreeing to it. And then just click agree and hit finish. Once you hit finish, your permit is then submitted for review. We will review it and get back to you within two to three days. You will either receive an email asking for more documents or you will receive an email letting you know that your permit is ready for payment.